Do you believe in signs from those who have passed on? Well, Suzanne Summers widower Alan Hamill says odd things have been happening around his house since her passing in October. Alan told page six a hummingbird flew into the house and landed on top of a photo of them together. After that, the fireplace started by itself and some music came on by Suzanne's favorite composer. And he also feels her presence when he's lying in bed. Alan isn't alone. A recent survey said more than half of US adults say they've been visited by a deceased family member in a dream or some other form. Erica, I immediately think of you and Big Mama. Yeah, she sends you signs all the time. Oh yeah. Well, um, my immediate thought was when I was, uh, when a relative unfortunately passed from COVID, I was meditating and I had my big mama's picture. And as I was walking out the door, her, my relative's photo fell on the you ground. Told me this. Um, and that's when I found out that she had COVID and she passed soon after. Um, but I was saying when I was in Hawaii, because everything was so still, um, I got several visits from like my big mama and granddaddy, but big mama came to me uh, wearing my green Renaissance hoodie. No, she did not. And pants, yes. Big Mom was really into jogging suits. I had no idea she'd be into Beyonce. She passed way before Beyonce was in her prime, but that's how she is. Al's not buying this, Erica. No. It's true. Look at his lips. He can barely contain. Well, everybody knows in the afterlife you get into merch. <laughs> and I. Uh, look, I am. <laughs> I am. Big poor. Mama's gonna visit you tonight. I, uh, yeah, I, look, I do. Renaissance. I believe it. And the thing is, Erica, I'm dead serious for as like pragmatic as I am. I do really believe that there's something and there's an energy inside of us. And once this body's gone, it goes somewhere. Where it goes, I do not know. I don't know if it can program the radio or tell a hummingbird to come on in. But <laughs> if it makes you feel better, Jeff, I'm here for it. I'm with you, man. I'm with you. And I don't even mind people making fun of it because I don't push my religion or spirituality onto anybody, right. right? It's just for me. And if it makes you feel good, if it gives you, so, Alan, some comfort, why not? At the end, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But if I think there's an afterlife or someone's helping me out in this life, I really, truly believe really good things started to happen to me. This doesn't sound great, but after my grandparents died, things really started to progress for me in my career. Your guardian angel. And I really think that they have something to do with it. That might sound crazy to some people, but I really do believe that. And I, be I pray every night and I pray to my ancestors every night because I believe they helped me. I'm not spreading. I don't go to people's house and spread that to everybody. That's for me. That's when I go to bed. It gives me comfort. It gives me to keep going. So if you want to believe in that, I think it's good to have that comfort with you. If you don't, good on you too. Yeah, I have a guardian angel, Peggy. How do so, you know Peggy? Tell Peggy's us. my aunt. Uh, Look at his face. I know he doesn't believe That's in Peggy. Terrible, but Al. Peggy's gonna visit. I anyway, do believe tell me in about Peggy. Peggy. So anyway, Peggy, Peggy, Peggy died, but she was like me, very loud, very uh, director, very theatrical. And when she passed, I prayed to her and talked to her on the beach, and it was like I'm having a really hard time. And I turned, and her name was written in the sand. You're lying. And I swear to God. Wait, and then what? every time I bring up Peggy, and we weren't particularly that close. I mean, we were close. Her name was written in, in the, the sand. sand. And every time I bring it up, it, it within the hour I'll see it under in a name, or someone will say, "Hi, I'm Peggy." Right. I bought Kelly a plant, Kelly Schubert, one of my closest friends, named it Peggy. We were, I was just praying to her that day. Wow. So I don't know if it, if I'm looking for it, if there's a bias in that. I'm sure a psychologist or social scientist would say maybe, but it makes me feel good. I and love it. Helps it helps my world no, out. No, and I, my Oma, who Sophie is named after. Yeah. Oma Sophie, she was my best friend. And I, anytime in, I'm in a really dark place, I smell her perfume. And her perfume mm. isn't an average perfume. It was something that she used to get from Germany. Very specific, a very specific smell sure could it be something in the subconscious that comes up maybe but, but maybe I just not. don't think so I feel her presence yeah. in those moments and I'm so grateful for that and not only that I know since Eric's past there's been some things that has happened to my sister to my mom to their children so I do believe in it and I think it's a beautiful thing I do too and okay. if you get a dream of that too that's really like that's a I say a visitation yes that's yeah. a beautiful thing even if they just sit on the end of the bed right that's really special and if it Very. makes you a better person overall right when nobody's looking when when you could do whatever you want right and and you think like, well, maybe God's watching or someone else is watching me and you do the right thing. That's whether it's out there or not, you're doing the right thing in that situation. Yeah. If there was no like, I might go to hell for murdering someone, a couple people might be choked out. I know. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs>
<laughs> get a well, visit from a grandparent tonight. Yeah. Yes. Oh. I find out the big man's not real. Some people are getting a visit from Big J. Oh. <laughs> Some big stars are putting their homes on the market. Emma Stone could be up for another Oscar this year. But first, oh, I, I got to look at this. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Very Spanish. I like it. She's listing her L.A. home for nearly $4 million. The four-bedroom, four-bathroom Spanish-style home is full of bright, sunny touches. It has a kitchen filled with natural light with a dining room table for six and in the bathroom a classic clawfoot tub. Alec Baldwin is also listing his home in the Hamptons. The estate is being listed for 19 million dollars but that's apparently down 10 million dollars from last year. The house sits on five acres of farmland and was built in the 1700s. The cozy interior includes seven bedrooms, nine bathrooms. There's also a pool, media room, sauna. Alec hasn't said why he's listing the home but did post a video talking about what the house has meant to him. Watch. You just can't get this out here anymore. You can't buy uh, big pieces of land, uh, especially in Amagansett, um, that I know of. And uh, I've always loved it here. It's a very, very uh, low density area. And I love coming here. I'm always happiest uh, when I come here, uh, especially this time of year. I love it in the wintertime because it's so peaceful and it's so beautiful. Cool jazz music. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. What was that? Did he need to sell like, that what? house? What? To you? Are you like on the fence? That house Dude, is amazing. Like, well, yeah, but nobody's buying $18 million homes right now. Right. Well, $29 million, however much it was, because interest rates are super high. Wow. So you're basically buying multiple homes for one. Wow. Or La Casa, as Hillary Baldwin. You have an it. issue with her. Yeah, because she, Hilaria Baldwin <laughs> from Boston. She's selling her casa, I guess. What is yeah. the issue? Like, Look, please, I went you're deep just into this. Saying weird okay, things. what I'll say is this: his <laughs> wife is always pretended to be Spanish, yeah. and he's even said she's from Spain. She'll go on a talk show and be like, "I forgot how you say, oh yeah, cucumber." She's right. She's from Boston. Yeah. He's right. She went to Spain like, and three that's times. the reason why the house won't sell. Yeah, I, I thought maybe that was why. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you think because people don't like him and her? Yeah, like, I think we're, we don't want to. I touch think there's this. bad energy with him because of the rush shooting. I think they need to sell it for a lawyer money, and I think she's not particularly popular, but I was totally laughed down, so I feel Yeah, prepared. well, it is a fire sale, apparently, if he's cut it by $10 million. 10 million cut? But at the same time, if somebody has 19 mil cash laying around, they are definitely picking it up because everything is about land, location. They are not making more of it, and that's the reason why M Emma Stone's house was $4 million, and I still haven't seen a pool. She's probably in a really good location. Well, of course. That's yeah. how that you get That house isn't good enough for Erica. Erica. Yeah, that's yeah, cute. Erica doesn't like that it's a table for sale. If you go to Erica's uh, house, she has a table for like 40. Well, <laughs> yeah. I simply say it's $4 million. Tables. It's a very cute home, but $4 million cute, is cute. cute. It is a cute home. <laughs> if I it's took somebody to that house and they were like, cute, I'd be like, okay. Oh. We're going to take that I'm to go. I'm just saying, the house is cute. $4 million needs to give me more it's than cute. It's in Los Angeles. I don't care. Didn't I need, you just say it's location? I need at least a pool. Mm -hmm. Okay, then you're going to have to go on to Alex's house. Would you be okay with a spool? No, for oh, $4 you need million, a full I need a full lap pool. Don't be a fool without a pool. <laughs> <laughs>